Kicking off at number 20 is Osmosis. Big shout to the students at Cocktail School for throwing stuff at me. All life needs water. Water moves in and out of living cells across their cell membranes. These membranes are partially or selectively permeable. Check which term you need to use. Osmosis is a special type of diffusion which happens across all membrane and it's always in regards to water. The hockey net represents the membrane. You have some water molecules there. The blue balls represent water molecules and the other colours are different sized solute molecules which are dissolved in the water. I want you to send different sized molecules at this membrane and see what happens. The net only lets the smaller blue balls through and this is what happens in osmosis. When water molecules move from a high water concentration to a low water concentration across a membrane, the process is called osmosis. Water molecules actually move back and forth across the membrane all the time. But overall, there is a movement of water from an area of higher water concentration to an area of lower water concentration. The overall movement is called the net flow. <laughs> Get it? I feel a rap coming on. Every cell requires the ability to separate the stuff that is inside it from the stuff in which it operates. But water penetrates and is permitted through the membrane because it's partially permeable. With very small holes permitting molecules of water, any bigger molecules just simply get caught up. Across the barrier, molecules make a migration from a region of a higher to a lower concentration. That's a concentration gradient between two solutions in osmosis. That's water with very Inclusions. We use the word solutes for whatever has infused in and the term solvents for what it's dissolved in. If concentrations are the same, there'll be no water movement. Equal concentrations are isotonic solutions. If the solute level's higher, then we call it hypertonic. If it's relatively low, then it is known as hypotonic. Plants use osmosis to take in water through their roots. The net flow of water into the plant causes the plant cells to expand so that they become turgid or stiff. This means they're able to hold the plant upright. However, for animal cells, osmosis can cause problems. As animal cells have no cell wall and there is a danger that they may take in so much water that they explode. This is called lysis. There's also a danger that so much water moves out that they become irreparably damaged like this blood cell. When this happens, this is known as crenation. Our bodies stop this from happening by carefully regulating the concentration of our tissue fluid. It's complicated stuff, so how about another wrap to help clear things up? Using a microscope, we're able to tell that there's not a cell wall around an animal cell, only on plants, but they've got a membrane as well, and it's osmosis that makes it either shrivel or swell. So take a red blood cell and stick pure water on it, which is lower in solute, so we call it hypotonic, but with no cell wall, the cell swells until the side splits, the membrane has burst, and the word for this is lysis. If surrounding water has a lower concentration, the water moves out of the cell, we call this crenation. But for a plant cell, we must look at things differently. The added cell wall gives it strength and rigidity. Water flows in, but extra pressure won't burst it. The cell becomes rigid and is said to be turgid in reverse. Then the membrane shrinks from the side, making the cell go flaccid because it's plasmalized. So, bottom line, osmosis is the net movement of water from an area of high water concentration to one of lower water concentration across a selectively or partially permeable membrane.